time. To Decision 2008 now and the New Hampshire primary. It's a day of last minute campaigning. The latest polls are looking good for Obama and McCain. Both are getting a surge of support, apparently putting them in the lead tonight. Yeah, tonight Hillary Clinton and Mitt Romney are scrambling to get back some of the ground lost in polls. Romney appeared before a group of Rotary Club members in Nashua tonight saying uh, he's the man to bring change to Washington. McCain was also in New Hampshire and Nashua with his wife by his side, one of more than a half dozen cities and towns he's visiting today. He was trailing Romney a few days back, but now that's all changed. This is very personal for me. It's not just political. On the Democratic side, an emotional Hillary Clinton made an appearance in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, saying the race isn't just political, it's personal for her. But the big buzz is over Obama, who spoke to a packed house in Lebanon, and just about everywhere he went, telling the crowds that he can pull Democrats and Republicans together to move the country forward. NBC 10's Bill Rapley is in Manchester, New Hampshire tonight. Yep, he joins us live with the latest. Hi, Bill. Hey, Gene, Patricia, while there's a frenzy of campaigning going on as the opening of the polls looms imminently, not only are the candidates running around like crazy trying to meet as many people as they can, their candidate, their volunteers that are working for the campaigns are also out there with the same idea of trying to sway voters. A year of political pressure is keeping most Manchester doors shut to these Rhode Island canvassers for Hillary Clinton, but they keep knocking. You got politics in your blood. Huh? I do. My grandfather was a um, city councilman in Cranston, and my cousin is Senator Mary Ellen Goodwin from Smith Hill. 21 year old Megan Grady is a graduate student at Roger Williams University. She's campaigned before. Do you think this makes a difference what you're doing? I think the grassroots outreach makes a tremendous difference. If you see what happened in Warwick Neck with Frank Ferry's campaign, I mean, it was the volunteers that knocked on the doors, it was the phone calls. That's what really changed it for Frank. This woman and thousands like her working for their chosen candidates send another message. I mean, just the tremendous amount of people, old, young, male, female, from all different parts of the nation. I mean, I think that really reflects that we are one nation. This not be her last campaign. But it's really in the heart of the grassroots organizers like myself and the different candidates, you know, at local office, at the state level, that have come out today that show this election, it, that that process is there. Now, as we were with those young canvassers, not a single door opened and the conversation took place, but they came, we found them a little bit later and they said, indeed, they did talk to one man who said he appeared to be swayed towards their candidates. So they keep trying and they uh, are certainly dedicated, Gina Patrice. Bill, how do they know which doors to knock on? I mean, it's a sort of a 50-50 chance, I guess. Well, no, it's actually very scientifically done by the campaigns. They set out grids, they give sheets to the, to the canvassers, they tell them what to ask people, they have certain rules of etiquette, and so it's not random. It is random when they get out of the streets and they may find somebody there, they may not, but it's a, it's a scientific process. They certainly uh, try to cover the whole neighborhood that way. Yeah, and I guess a lot of people just don't come to the door. It's been going on a long time up there. Bill Rapley with that live yeah, report. It's... I'll be sure to keep it right here on NBC10 for complete Decision 2008 coverage from New Hampshire. I'll join Bill Rapley in Manchester tomorrow night to bring you complete coverage on all of our evening newscasts. And you can always get the latest updates.